Hey everyone, Grin here. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at customizing the MP3 player in the Edge 540. All software used in this video is free, and the links can be found in the description below. The MP3 player comes preloaded with eight different music tracks by default. You are free to replace these tracks with your own music or add additional tracks to the playlist. First, we need to get our music in the correct format for DCS. For this example, I will be using Audacity to convert my custom music into the WAV format. Yup, you're not crazy, it's an MP3 player that can only play WAV files. Don't ask. Assuming the song we want to add is not in the correct format, simply import your music into Audacity and export it as a WAV. Now that we have our custom music track, let's navigate to our Save Games Edge 540 folder. Select Cockpit, Scripts, Systems, and open tracklist.lua. I recommend using Notepad++ or Visual Studio Code when editing Lua files. This file controls the text information displayed on the EFIS. Each custom song has three parameters you can modify. Song name, artist name, and album title. It is important to note you must use caps when modifying the data inside the quotation marks. Also note, if you do not wish to put the album or artist name in the file, simply leave the quotation marks with nothing in between as shown in song 1. If you are going to replace the default music, take a moment now to pause the video and rename the songs you wish to replace and save the file. Now we want to add an additional song to the MP3 player. Copy line 71 through 77 and paste it below. Take a moment to update the comments and the code to keep track of what we're doing. Same as before, you need to edit the names inside the quotation marks and save the file. There is no limit on songs you can add to the player, so rinse and repeat is needed. Now that we have our tracklist set up, let's navigate back to the root Edge 540 folder and select the Sounds folder. DCS sounds are broken up into two folders, Effects and SDEF. The Effects folder stores the WAV files used by the mod, and the SDEF folder stores the code that calls the sounds into DCS. In this example, I did not replace any of the default music, but we did add a new song to the MP3 player. First, we will select Effects, Aircrafts, Edge 540, Cockpit. If you replace the default music, rename your WAV files, music underscore one, music underscore two, so on and so forth, to correspond with the information you updated in the tracklist data. You can also add the new song using the name music underscore nine. We have one final step to complete before testing in game. Navigate back to the sounds folder. This time we will select SDEF, Aircraft, Edge 540, Cockpit. We do not need to modify or adjust music underscore 1 through 8, but we do need to make a new one for our new track, so copy music underscore 8 and paste it into the folder. Now rename it music underscore 9. Finally, right click on music underscore 9 and open it in Notepad++ or your editor of choice. All we need to do here is edit music underscore 8 to music underscore 9 and save the file. Alright, that's it. Let's load DCS and make sure everything is working correctly. Once in the pit, press EFIS button 3 to select the MP3 player and click the back button on the display or use the keybind. That's it, we're good to go. I want to thank everyone for all your overwhelming support and hope to see you on the track soon. This is Grin signing out. We'll see you in the next one.